I plant my dreams with a fishing rod and rusty jeans. Salmon in the stream, my mushrooms to eat. Well, Nomies, it's a beautiful, brisk morning. And we looked at the weather forecast, and the inevitable is coming now. We got two days before snow hits, and we got a woodshed to build. Because last year, we had our wood pile sitting out under a tarp. It didn't work out too well with all the rain and everything we had. So we've been trying to get this project done most of the summer, but we got started, monsoons hit, worked a little bit, went on injured reserve, worked a little bit, started hunting mushrooms, postponed it, now we gotta get her done. Now about five days ago, as you can see, I picked up a bag of groceries. A loaf of bread and a couple little light things. And my arm went pop. And when it did, I was seeing stars. So this project that I was supposed to start five days ago got postponed again. Well, we cannot postpone any longer. Because we got a big old pile of wood. It needs to get undercover. And how are we gonna do it? Well, since we ain't got much money, none to be exact, we're gonna build our woodshed. All right, you tell him, Cap. Nomi, Nomestead, my Alaska life. Nomestead, that, yeah, this, dude, your... this dude, Nomestead, he lives in Alaska off the grid. Wow. Off the grid, you can watch it, he's a YouTube channel. He built a chicken shack out of like trash. Dude, he's the best. He lives off the grid. He, he, and he looks like a fucking gnome. He has a big gray beard. The gnome. Dude, I love that you're like meeting the uh, the crew. That, that yeah, give me a follow. Would you guys follow Maniac Malloy on Instagram? Would you please? Yeah, also, also subscribe like to this. And subscribe to Bet Parks' YouTube channel. As always, like and subscribe to John's YouTube channel. Uh, smash that like button, people. That's yeah. what the Nomestead said. Smash that like button. Gnomestead. Yeah, gnomestead. Gnomestead. Excuse me. Excuse me. Gnomestead. That's right. Um, yeah. We're building our woodshed out of trash. Ladies, are you here to help? Are you? Baby. Are you here to help? Or are you just here for food? Alright. Sun's finally getting up over the trees. We got a toasty fire going. Frost is melting off of stuff. Let's see what we got going on here. Ah. Nice warm fire. Take the chill off this morning. Anyway, we got this platform here that we started. I had some footage of this, but I can't find it, what card I put it on. So uh, we're just gonna pick up where we left off and imagine. But what I did is I had another platform down here already. It was fairly solid, um, but I had these pallets and I wanted to lift it up and get some air underneath the wood for when I'm seasoning and stuff. So plus it gets a little further off the ground and every inch further off the ground that I don't have to bend over is a good thing. So, what do we got going on here? We got three pallets in a row. We got these out here on the corner. We'll tie in the corner. That's something to stack up against. We're gonna leave this open here and then we're gonna do the same thing over there in that corner. Cause we got two more pallets right here. So, uh, let's get our beam out of the way and uh, get that part going. All right, first thing we're gonna do, let's get the radio out of the way. And, oh, I got some gloves here somewhere. Right here. Get this beam out of the way. And, let's get our pallets up here. Well, that ain't gonna want to stay. Let's try this way first. Eh, that works a little bit better. We better get some screws in it. Or maybe you can another pallet up here first.
よ。That's pretty good. We'll put some more in here a little bit because we may have to tweak this and get it squared up. All right, now that we got that corner set and screwed in, matching this side, actually works out perfect because what we're going to do is we're going to put two by four up here to hold a beam going across. And that's exactly the width of a two by four. So that's perfect. So we'll put one here and we'll actually run one, run one all the way down to the ground. To help support it. We'll do that on both sides. So let's break out the two by fours and the saw. Get it done. All right, now we don't know if you can see this or not. But basically, what I did is I took a two by four and I put it up here like where our rafters are going to go, and I went ahead and marked that because that's uh well you'll see why later. It's going to be important. Anyway, let's get that cut and we're going to get one cut for the other side too. There we go, just like that. And that there is why we cut that at an angle, because we want our rafters to sit flush on those. We got this side done too. We had to uh, shim this out a little bit here to get this nice and level. But uh, this side worked out pretty good. All right, what's next? All right, we got to get a beam up here. This is going to be the fun part with one arm. Okay, gnomers. We got this one on here. We got this up here to catch our beam because we're working one arm here. And we can't hold both sides at the same time. We also got a cross brace here because we got to make sure this side's plumb. And then we'll plumb that side up after we get the beam across. So let's get the time lapse set up. I ain't got time to chat. The sun is burning. And uh, snow's coming. So here we go. I want to thank all y'all for watching. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because we got a special offer coming up and we got some bonus chicken porn. Stick around. All right, guys. That was fun with one arm. Well, one and a half arms. I feel like freaking T Rex. We got that up there. I can take these temporaries off now. And uh, we're gonna double this up. Run one all the way to the ground. Same thing here, same thing here. But uh, I do wanna put some 45 cross spaces across here too. So let's get all that going. And uh, yeah, back to the time lapse. We got work to do. Okay, Nomers, there's all our roof rafters up. Now we gotta put cross pieces across because we're doing metal roofing on here. So these pieces going this way. So we got five two by fours to go up and down here. So we'll get you set back up and get back to work. Cause yeah, burning daylight, snow's coming. Huh? 
Come on. Come on out. Come on. You guys act like you're starving to death. Crystal might come on. Come on, Crystal. Come on. Come on up. They ain't gonna bother you. I ain't gonna hurt you. You know it's safe. Come on. Goofy birds. Isn't the baby getting big? Oh, there we go. Come on, baby. There we go. Oh, and there's a crystal. Ah, I'm being attacked. Ah! Help! 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 Ow, that's my hand! Baby. Come on over here. You just did it when I turned the camera off. Now I turn it back on and you won't get on my lap. What's the deal? What's the deal, Crystal? Huh? I'm being surrounded. By dinosaurs. By dinosaurs. Say hi. Say hi. Crazy birds. Look at that. I'm being invaded. Ah. What? 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 You guys here to help? I don't think you are. I think you're here just to harass me. Acting like you're starving to death. When you ain't. Look how fat you are. Alright guys, I gotta get back to work. Okay? You're gonna have to clear out the site. Nah, not even wearing a hard hat. On a construction site. Where's your steel toe boots? Huh? Baby? Are you even old enough to work? I don't think so. You happy? Huh? Happy to knock my cans all over the place? Huh? Crystal? Are you happy? Alright, now we're gonna try and get you a shot here. Sun angle is terrible this time of year. But, uh, you get the idea. Now we're ready for 10. Oops, sorry about the sun. Now we're ready for 10. We're gonna take a break first because we are hurting for certain. But, it's getting done and it's gotta get done because by sun up, it's gonna be snowing. Hi Nomies, here it is. We got some old used beat up pieces of roofing here. I know it's got a little surface rust on it, but the woodshed. Just gotta keep the snow and rain off of it. And uh that should do just well. Oh, now we gotta get it up there. So let me try and find a camera angle. The sun isn't totally jacked and uh we'll get to it because we're using daylight There you go, a trash roof on a trash woodshed. Not too shabby. 
Well, no, he's, it's zero dark 30. We took a little bit of a rest while the sun went down. We got about eight hours until the sun, oh, you know what? I just realized you can't see me. Let there be light. Ha ha, that's much better. All right, Nomies. It did get dark on us. We still got to get this firewood under cover because the snow's coming. We got about eight hours. And uh, we're going to start bringing the firewood over here. We're going to load the rounds up over here in the back, split them later, and get all of our split stuff in the front. And then uh, all that birch over there by the front door, we're going to put over here on this side. So uh, there's nothing left to it but to do it. Let's go. And it's gonna start off with a sled load of rounds. There we go. One sled. How many more to go? Do you know? Chopping that wood just to keep it warm. Alaskan sky in its purest form. Fishing the streams of my homemade line. I hunt the forest in the cold moonshine. Gathering berries in the mushrooms wild. Simple life like a rugged child. Under the door. Nomies are some pretty special people in my life. They made this wood pile possible. To all you beautiful people in the SPTV community and all my Philly peeps, thank you. Fireplace crackles underneath the sky. Moose tracks lead me to the hidden goal. Nature talks and stories old. Beneath the stars, I set my snare. Silent woods where I lay my care. Sky blazing colors bright. Well, mommies, we did all we can do. Chicken, what are you doing out here in the snow? Huh? It's snowing. Why are you out here? Anyway, as you can see, we did about all we can do. I got all the split stuff put in there. Got most of the birch moved over. Still got a big pile over there I gotta go through. Um, and split up and stack, but it's snowing. We got enough put up for now. Fire's dying down. Ladies, what the heck are you doing out? Hmm? You not realize it's snowing? baby's first snow. I already fed you. Why are you acting like you're starving again? Hmm? Hmm? Do we need to put you up so you don't get lost in the snow? I think we might have to. Alright guys. Oh, I'm definitely hurting for certain. We're uh, going to climb in the cabin. Get a fire going and probably chill for a couple days until we gotta move snow. Until next time. Hey, Nomies, tis the season. It's getting cold outside. What better way to celebrate and keep your head warm? And by donning yourself a genuine pointy hat made by a genuine Alaska gnome. And that being said, we are happy to announce that we are offering for a limited time and a limited supply a batch of 10 genuine gnome stetter pointy hats. Each one of these hats is handmade by yours truly, the gnome stetter. That's right. I'll be doing each and every one of them. And I can only do so many of them before the holidays hit and be able to get them to you, so that's why there's a limited supply. Oops, stand by a second, Nomi, so better take this. 
Heidi ho thanks for calling the Gnomestead. H-G-I-C Gnomey, at your service. How can I help you? Oh, you heard about our pointy hat deal. Awesome. Well, tell you what, I am right in the middle of making a video telling all the Gnomies about it and how you can order. So let me put you on hold and we'll get right back to you if you don't mind. Thank you so much. Well, there you go. Word's getting out fast. So you better get your order in now so we can get it made for you and shipped out just in time for the holidays, be it for ye, whether you're going to put it under the tree. So get them while they're hot. Oh, no, get them while it's cold before it gets hot. Something like that. Anyway, how about some chicken porn? It's baby's first snow. What do you think, baby? Huh? You excited? You excited? Huh? You know what this snow's all about, Crystal. Huh? What's a baby think? Huh? What's a baby think of this snowy stuff? You don't care. You just want food. You too. Happy first snow! All right, guys, you do not need to be out here in the snow. Come on. Come on. Hey. Let's go. Ha ha, trick you. You're better off in there anyways. <laughs> <laughs>